late. There are apparently thousands of people waking up this morning feeling a little sorry Aww. for themselves after indulging themselves too much on Paddy's Day yesterday. Absolutely. But this morning, Caroline Gray, she's fantastic. She's going to make you feel much better. She's the editor of Easy Food magazine who's joining us with chicken noodle soup to nurse you back to health this morning. So some delicate little heads this morning. That's yeah. the thing. This is just a nice, easy, comforting recipe. I think it's just the thing. Chicken if... soup. That's the thing. Jewish chicken... penicillin. There we go. <laughs> Do you... we'll get you right back on. Is this a good hangover cure then in, in, in earnest, is it? <sighs> Do you know, I think it's one of these things that maybe it's more, I'm sure it's, it does good for your body. You know, it's not like, it doesn't have like the greasiness or like the carbo yeah, load it's necessarily. Yeah. It's nice and light. So if you're feeling maybe a bit fragile, I think <laughs> there, there are, you know, there's good wholesome things in there. So it'll definitely make you feel better. Yeah, in the, long the way you scoot over all those words. We yeah. all know what you mean. Yeah, we know. Really this morning. <laughs> sure, put down that sausage roll and yeah. get some chicken soup. <laughs> if you just can't manage it, okay? <laughs> Great, okay. Right, how do we do it? So we're going to start with just a bit of olive oil here. And, you know, the good thing about like chicken soup is that you can definitely kind of, you know, do any kind of flavors you want with it. Okay. So we're doing a little bit of, not necessarily like an Italian theme on it, but we're gonna get some like lemon juice and lemon zest in this as well as some garlic. So Beautiful. yeah, so you got your oil in a pan, not too high a heat, just half a chopped onion there. And then I think the thing with soup anyway, is like with the onion here, you don't, you want it to be cooked through and translucent, but you don't want it to go brown or you go crispy or anything, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <clears throat> um, you know, if it, you're doing like, kind of like a nice pasta sauce or something, you kind of want to get all those like browned bits at the bottom, but this is going to be nice and gentle and light. And When you say it's gentle and light, like Simon, you, you make soups as well, don't you? Do you make soups for the kids? Um, oh, no? not, uh, not as much as we should. Oh, should okay. make more soups. What but I love the fact that this is starting with kind of the trilogy, the onions, carrots, that's celery. That's it. And then a bit of garlic in there. Mm -hmm. And the trilogy is the thing I learned actually, because you've said to me that that's really important when you're cooking yeah. lamb or it's you're cooking. Yeah, it's a great face. Yeah, it's a great face. face. It and is. I mean, when you're talking about you know light on your stomach, <clears throat> is this suitable for children? Obviously, kids oh, can yeah. eat this as definitely. well. Definitely. Yeah, it's definitely. You know, it's definitely not it's great well in terms of a flu or you're exactly. under the weather. In that sense, it's too. just that you know, I mean, because the thing is, is like you're not overcooking the vegetables. You're not loading it up with you know different sauces or anything like that. So it is definitely going to be full of really good vitamins and nutrients. Mm. So it really is when you're feeling sick. It's a great one to go for. Mm. Yeah. So Simon, like you said, I mean, the trilogy here, so between the onion, the celery, and the carrot, it's just a great base for so many types of dishes. Mm. I mean, like around the world, it's just, you know, sauces, stews, and definitely the soup. So we're just kind of cooking it there just to get softened a tiny bit, and then we're gonna add our garlic. Just a few crushed cloves of garlic there. And, um, you know, obviously it's not gonna be overwhelmingly strong or garlicky garlic, or anything. Because yeah, yeah. what you're doing is when you have your chicken stock and all your other flavors, you want this space to be absolutely packed with flavor. Yeah. You know, it is forming the foundation. So you have those in there, and then we're just going to add a little bit of thyme. And thyme works well. Thyme or rosemary are great for these because it does okay. cook. You can add it early and it's not going to, you know, something like parsley or basil, that would was be- Was that dried or fresh? This was fresh, okay. but um, definitely dried herbs are even better okay. because they okay. can last as long. So just gonna add a bit of chicken stock to this. Lovely. And quiet. Okay. And then do oh, it I this know what stage. I about being translucent now. I see, just nice and brothy. Yeah, that's yeah. the thing. You know, it's not going to be too. Um, yeah, it's it's just like a nice light soup, I guess, like that. You're going to feel good about eating it. And with the pasta, what we're doing with this is we're actually going to use lasagna sheets. Oh. So yeah, so you could definitely use you know any kind of nice pasta you want. You want something that's not going to you know, I suppose get too stodgy or overcooked too easily because we're gonna bring this to the boil, crack in some lasagna sheets, let that cook, and then add in your other bits. So okay. we have some like cooked torn chicken, a bit of spinach, and then the lemon. What do you think? I'm loving it, and mm. I love how fact, the fact that it's so simple. It's so simple, very yeah. Simple, very and easy. I think you know, if you are feeling under the weather in whatever sense that means, or take yeah. with that what you mean, what you will, that at least you know it's easy to make. You're not going to be yeah. sweating over big spaghettis or you no. know. Trying to, yeah. And that's the thing. And we were saying before, you know, some people are. Me personally, with soup, I can only kind of have it for a day or two, but it's yeah. a great thing. Make a big batch of it, put it in the freezer, and then you have it for whenever you need. Yeah. So it's easily doubled. Like I have one here that's kind of cooked, but um. So you're just going to literally crack in. Literally just crack these in. So like I was saying, it's you want to okay. use a, you want to use a pasta that's not going to overcook. So like this is um, this is Barilla lasagna, and it's a good one because it doesn't 
overcook. But you could crack in spaghetti or crack in exactly. ingredients or whatever yeah. you want. Or... Exactly. So any kind of, you want something that's going to have, not too big because you don't want to have, you know, huge, huge chunks of it. Yeah. But, um... Exactly. Any any kind of pasta you want. Maybe you need a little bit of carbs when you're exactly. feeling, you know. Sure, more. that's the thing. If you're if you're ditching the sausage roll, you have to get a little bit of something in there today. Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. So that's going to cook away. Now, how long would you cook that for, Karen? This one, you know, you follow the package instructions. So this really. Um, this pasta, I think, just cooks in about seven to nine minutes. Okay. Oh, but the good thing about this is, like, you can kind of, if you want to simmer the soup for a while first, you can keep it going for a couple of hours, even let the yes. flavors develop a little your, more. Dry your pasta. Exactly. And then before you're serving and it, then, then put, put that in. in. Yeah, okay. Exactly. So then we have one here that's kind of been simmering just for a couple of minutes. And then so to this, I'm going to add our extra bits. So we have okay. a couple chicken. torn chicken breasts. Cool. Now, if you even, you know... Cooked you, chicken breast. Cooked chicken yeah, breast. Cooked so chicken those were just uh, poached in a bit of water with some, like, peppercorns and salt. Okay. Um, if you're feeling not even up to that, you can just buy rotisserie chicken from Cooks. the store. Of course, yeah. Tear oh, off yeah. the skin. And then, again, this is all the healthful stuff. Just some spinach leaves there. Stir that in. Those are going to wilt and like that. I mean, it's, it's all the good stuff. You could, really could, could you even chop up a little bit of potato, throw it on there? You could, you could indeed. Like we're going, you know. Turn the, it from a lunch into a dinner. That's it. Yeah. Now, yeah, yeah, the pasta is great in it just because it does soak up everything and, you know, it has kind of that nice. What was that sneaky bit yeah, of the there? Things you oh, could lemon juice. I just tossed it in, it was lemon juice, oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. yeah. I know, before you see, yeah. now that's just, it's a little bit of a, it's a bit of a punch of flavor, I suppose. This just lifts it again, doesn't it? It does, it does, and like that, because, you know, when you're cooking, this for a while, and because the flavors are quite nice. simple, you just want to add in anything really? where you okay. can get it. So beautiful, after you, madam. After it, uh, let's go. Okay, beautiful. you go you it. jump in there as well. Oh, oh we're, 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 we're doing a lady in a tram kind of thing, are we? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's oh, gorgeous. Oh. That is gorgeous. Oh.